today we'll see what are the kind of errors which you may encounter when you connect to the data sources in Power BI. In fact, there are only four types of errors that you may encounter. When you're connecting with SQL Server or any, or any other database, the very first kind would be query timeout. So your database uh, uh, is not responding that quickly. Maybe it is it has got a lot of load or the internet speed is less because of which it is not possible. So if you get the error like query timeout, it may come when you connect to the databases. The reason could be the server has got so much of load because of which it is unable to respond to your request or the internet speed is very less or some problem in the internet because of which you are not able to connect to it. So just, just resolve those errors mm. and uh, it should get sorted. And second is it couldn't find the data format it is a table. Usually we do not get such kind of errors but in case let's say you find such kind of error um, then what to do in that case is here in I've got the data which is uh, I got the data which is a very simple data just two or three records which is out there in the sales.xlsx file we have got serial number item and the sales amount usually you'll find the data so formatted is table and I give it a name to the sheet as my sales okay and here in I can uh, what we can do is we can, can we can select the data and thereafter we can select uh, on the shortcut key so we this is uh, which is you can press ctrl control plus t with this data is selected press control plus t and then what will happen is it will show you an alert that is do you want to format this data as the table so do you want to create a table this and with the and it will select the range as well click on ok so this will get converted to the table so we go to the sequ uh, this power bi and here in let me just delete as of now any any the data that i have okay and i am going to make a connection to this particular file which is sales.xlsx file it will show me the data now I have created this table which is table 1 I can rename this to be a table different table name so here in I can see the table name as table 1 so I give it a name as item sales okay and save this so if I come here now and again I click on excel workbook select the sales I'll be able to see the table name so I have formatted this this data as the table which is available to me and I can select this table and click on the load button so this data will be available to me this is the data which is available to me now um, there is a third category of error that may come is couldn't find the file now let me do one thing I go to the same file again and now I change the value here let's say I change it to be maybe 1900 and save this file and go to see this Power BI solution right click and refresh the data so here in, in the third row I'll be able to see 1900 so it is able to connect to it let's say because of some reason this file gets dropped or gets deleted or renamed so I, uh, maybe it's renamed to something else maybe 26th okay let's say it cannot do that because the file is already open so I close this try again now if you go to power bi right click refresh data 
so here in I'll see the error could not find the file because the, the file has been renamed so what you need to do is wherever the file is available just find that and put that file in the same location and everything will be okay okay now I go back to power bi now I right click and select refresh data it should be okay okay now I go to power bi there's a fourth category of error that comes is um, when it when we say that data type errors for example whenever you are loading or refreshing the data maybe because of some reason you got the data wherein data is not in the format as is expected for example um, let's say there's a new item that got added maybe item 4 and here in, instead of the value being the whole number it has uh, added the value as uh, maybe with some other format so now let me save this and this one the existing one has been modified as well so please 19 15 okay, let me save this I go to power bi again and the data type this column is expecting it to be a whole number so when we say re right click and refresh data let's see what happens so it imports a fourth row but it is shown as blank and the third row also gets changed to blank and uh, this is definitely an error which is happening and uh, we can see this the error as well so we click on home transform data we can see this this one is containing an error so we can see this one contains a different icon this one is a different uh, uh, color here under the sales amount this column okay we can click on view column quality and it will show us uh, the error the 50 percent of the records contain the error so it shows us like this but how to handle these scenarios and how to handle this data i've covered this in another video i'll put the link of that video in the description below thank you thanks for watching the video